Hey there, Wrestling Fanatics. It's the host with the most here. It is Team Rai and I have a guest here. We are going to do Backlash Review. I have a guest here. Go ahead and play your social media, man. Take it away. Uh, it is at we the Pivko on Twitter. That's at we the P I W K O. Okay, um, first thing first, um, was the um, pre show. I did not watch the whole thing because we got there late because traffic from Indiana to Chicago. So, Pico, tell the viewers what's your thoughts on this um, kickoff show. Uh, well, uh, Aiden English apparently is from Chicago, um, and no one really liked him because Ty Dillinger. Uh, you know, with the 10 chant, everyone was doing the 10 chant uh, before the show started, and uh, this was their time to do the 10 chant, and uh, it was uh, it was what it was, and Ty Dillinger won. Now, uh, was it a great atmosphere for Ty Dillinger, or no? I'd say so, because, I mean, as best as it can be in Chicago with the 10 chant, because, you know, everyone just wanted to do the 10, and once he came out, it was a big pop, and okay. uh, everyone went crazy. Yeah, we just got there just in time right before. I mean, I saw the end of it, but I did not see the, the beginning of the match. Now, was that match slow, or was it a fast-paced match, uh, Pico? Uh, I mean, I don't know. It wasn't, like, too crazy. It went longer than I expected. If okay. Was, you know, okay. Answer. Now, the first match of the, of the card, I was very surprised. Dolph Ziggler versus Cincy um, Nakamono. Now, were you surprised this is the first match of the card to open up the show? Close enough, so... Um, I, I heard that apparently they announced that on the pre-show that it was supposed to be the first match. Oh. And this, this was the match that I was most looking forward to uh, just because this is the first time seeing Nakamura and he's my favorite, so this is a big deal. Um, but uh, the match itself, it was cool to see him wrestle, but honestly, I felt like they could have done more. And from what I've seen in the past, before he came to WWE and he, even in NXT, uh, he probably could have done a lot more but he just knows he doesn't have to um, but uh, it was cool to see him live and hopefully he'll do something even better than uh, you know facing Dolph Ziggler in the future now now is this the first time you ever seen him live before yes I've yeah. never seen him in person I mean, do you like his entrance his entrance was awesome yeah that was awesome that was uh, the, the main point of me wanting to be there was to see that entrance I thought doesn't he have like a violin guy um, doing it but they didn't have it last time did they no, they didn't. I was surprised. Yeah, maybe they will do it for bigger pay per views. I don't know, but um, it was a very good match. Dolph Ziggler and um, Sinski has some great uh, chemistry. I hopefully this is a one time uh, match. You know. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what they're going to do next, but we'll have to see. Yeah. Okay. Next match. What was the next match? Was it SmackDown Tag Team Titles or no? Yes, it was. Now, what do you think about this match? You like it or no? Uh, I liked it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Tyler Breeze was, uh, was a, a good comedy act. I thought that was funny when he came out in the janitor outfit and then switched to the uh, old lady outfit. Yes. So, uh, yeah, that was... Uh, I was hoping that Tyler Breeze and Fandango were going to win, but I'm glad there was those ones. So. Yeah, it was, it was very good. I'm surprised that um, Fandango and Tyler Breeze have great chemistry together. I'm, su I'm, I'm surprised that they uh, put them together. You know, usually it doesn't work out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you mean. So, they, they retain the Usos because I'm assuming that the Usos are going to lose it down the road probably. Probably with the New Day, you know? Uh, yeah, probably to the New Day soon, I would say. Maybe SummerSlam. Yeah. Um, next match, Sami Zayn versus um, Baron Corbin. This is a very good match. I'm very surprised that Sami Zayn won. Did you or no? Uh, man, like... When he got the three count, I stood up and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe he actually won. Yeah. No one expected him to win. I wanted him to win, but no one expected it to happen. Are you a fan of um, Baron or no? Uh, well, I mean, the only reason I kind of like Baron Corbin is because he's from Kansas City. So uh, all the time when I hear that, I pop for it. But oh. uh, I like Sami Zayn a whole lot more than Baron Corbin. Oh yeah, do you think uh, Sami will get... Uh, main um, uh, title before this uh, year's over or no? Um, I don't know. I think he's gonna win the money in the bank. Oh, that'd be nice if he's in it. Yeah, so he'll he'll probably be in it, and I think he might win. I have a feeling. Okay, this one is a three on three, six on you know six woman match. I didn't care for it, but whatever. Um, well, did, um, go ahead. What are you gonna say? This match. Uh, this was my opportunity to. Uh, go to the bathroom and uh, buy a shirt. And when I was 
on the way to buy a shirt, I ran into a fellow YouTuber. Uh, I know that you also know who I'm talking about. Uh, it was Team Rai Rai. Yep. Uh, he was talking to, uh, I don't know who he was talking to. He's probably a fan telling Rai Rai how good his videos are. Um, but I, uh, I shook Rai Rai's hand and then I said, I'll be back. And I ran downstairs, I ran to the bathroom. I ran to the uh, merch table. I wanted to buy a Kevin Owens shirt, and then I got that. I, I, I put it on, and then I ran back to my seat just to get like the ending of the uh, of the match. So I have no idea really uh, what happened during this match. All I know is that Becky Lynch tapped out, and it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I didn't care for this match. It just whatever. It should be a a women's match. You agree or disagree? Um, it should have been like I don't know. It just. None of this made sense. The only thing that I regret missing was Naomi's entrance because I really like Naomi's entrance. Oh yeah, I, I, I record it. If you see it, um, it'll be on Instagram. But um, if you're wondering who that was, I was talking to him. He's from YouTube also, but I met him. He's from Chicago also. But um, shout out to him. Yeah. So um, hopefully he will see this. But this is the first time I met two people, and I was gonna meet a third person, and he was in the same area. Same. It was a lady. Um, same um, um, area as you and my other friend. What's the odds in that, huh? Yeah, that's crazy. So, um, yeah, um, all state arena. If you've never been to anyone, um, NAC is a good seat. You agree, Pico, or no? Oh, yeah. I mean, it depends on, like, the, guy, the, the seats in the 200s are a lot smaller than the ones in, in the, the 100s. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, everywhere is a good, like, a view. It's all good. Now, I don't know if you pay attention to AJ and... KO match. When I start, I hate that damn light. I don't know if that, did that light did, did that light bother you when I that match kicked down, or it wasn't affecting you that light? Um, yesterday there wasn't really a light in my eye, but um, the, the the day before there was a light that was kind of messing with me. But, oh my! You know, this match, I really liked this match. I felt like it was the best match of the show, and the only thing that I was mad about was the crowd was like totally hijacking this match in my section and the section next to mine. And they were chanting for the lemonade guy. They were chanting for random stuff. And I, I was like, I was yelling. I was like, okay, we got the two best in the world in the ring fighting for the U.S. title. And we can't wait until like the Luke Harper match. Like we can't wait for like a, a like we're gonna like Jinder Mahal and Randy Orton are in the main event for the title. We can't wait to that match to like do this. Like I, I was, I disagreed with the crowd during that. I felt that they should have paid attention more. And I was trying to pay attention to this match because this was the second match that I cared about, like, on the show. Like, this show was basically this match, the AJ Styles match, and Kevin Owens, and then the Nakamura entrance. That was all I was there for. So, uh, I liked the match. I didn't like the crowd in this match. Are you talking about the women's match, or are you talking about the U.S. belt match? The, the U.S. title match. Yeah, um, it was a good match, but I just don't like how um, KO won because um, um, AJ got his foot stuck, but I guess... That's the only way they could um, have um, KO retain his belt that way, you know? Yeah, I agree. But, I mean, I think it was a bad finish, but whatever, you know what I'm saying? But do you think um, uh, KO and um, AJ Styles' uh, feud's going over, or do you think it's going to continue? No, it better continue, because honestly, like, you know, you let's say you got those two guys going after it, you know, for a couple more months, and they're going to put on great matches every single time, so... Uh, why not just continue it until like SummerSlam and then have AJ win at SummerSlam yeah. or something like that? Yeah, because a lot of people say AJ should win, and I say no because um, K just won the belt back from um, a, um, uh, Y2J, so that'd be kind of stupid, you know? Bad yeah, booking. It would be, it would be kind of stupid, but then again, remember um, the same show that Kevin Owens won the title from Chris Jericho was the same show Randy Orton won the title from Bert Wyatt, so anything's possible. Yeah, that's true. Um, I really like this match. Um, I wish they went. I thought um, AJ is gonna go from the top and into the um, announcer table, but it never happened. You know? Yeah, I uh, I didn't know. I don't know. It could have happened, but who knows? Um, next match, I don't care for this match. Maybe you do. Is Luke Harper versus Eric Rowan? Do you like this match or not really? Uh, well, during this match, I was chanting. Or I was trying to get a Young Bucks chant start. But uh, it didn't work, and then everyone was chanting random stuff. So this was the match where I felt fine chanting random stuff because I, I didn't care. And okay. uh, it was, uh, I don't know, it was one of those where it's like, we're so late in the show. And I was upset that Kevin Owens and AJ Styles did a main event. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know, this was what it was. Do you think um, uh, 
Luke Harper and Eric Rowland should be like the, on the pre-show instead of the main card? Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe, but I don't know. This, the, if if I had to like switch matches, this would be the match I would switch with the Ty Dillinger match. Like it really, to me, either or could have been like in the spots they were in. Okay, now for the main event, Randy Orton, you know, the defending champion, he had a since Mania versus Joma Mahal. Overall, um, I like this match. It was a face pass match. Right away, Randy Orton just got into it and beat the crap out of um, the challenger, you know, without the belt ring, you know? Yeah, right away, Orton was like, all right, I'm going to beat this guy up for the belt rings. Yeah. So, wow, it was a great takedown. And I was not really surprised that Orton lost this match. Did you or no? Okay, so here's here's where I stand on this match. A couple like when when he won the number one contender, I was like, this is the most ridiculous thing, and I can't wait to see like Jinder Mahal like win the title because I think it would be ridiculous. And I you know I didn't want to go to the show just because I was like like this is seriously a match I can't believe it. So about a week or two ago, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna cheer for Jinder. Uh, I want him to win just so it's, we see something different. We always ask for something different. And here was the difference. We had Jinder Mahal. Now, I disagree with the way that he just got thrown into the title picture. Like, before he won the number one contender thing, he hasn't won, like, a match, like, a singles match in, like, three years almost. So, like, you know, I didn't like how they just threw him in there. But when he was in that spot, I was like, you know what, screw it. Like, I'm just going to cheer for him. And I cheered for him last night. And he won the title. I was uh, I was shocked that it actually happened because there was a point in the match when I thought that it was going to end in a disqualification or I felt Orton would win. But, nope, it didn't happen. The, the, his two cronies kind of like took the took the hit for him, and then Jinder countered on the uh, distraction, and we have a new champion. And half the crowd was going crazy, and half the crowd was in shock that it actually happened. And I felt that, like I th- I thought this was so much fun. Like immediately, I thought of Assault and Battery Seven Seven Seven, who for years has liked Jinder Mahal. He's been a Jinder Mahal fan for as long as I can remember. So it was like you know he was the only person I thought of. I was like. Ravi Assault Battery is going crazy right now just because his guy Jinder Mahal actually won the title. And I was going crazy just because I saw history. I saw Jinder Mahal just win the title out of nowhere, so I thought that was awesome. Yeah, I'm kind of glad. I mean, it's a different change of pace, not the same guys over and over, like on a roll, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but do you think that he's actually going to give him a long title run, or do you think this is just going to be a short term, you know? Um, if he doesn't lose it on Tuesday then I feel like he's going to have a triple threat match with Rusev and Randy Orton at Money in the Bank. And then I from there, I don't know where you go. Maybe you have Rusev beat him for the title and then someone cash in. Or I don't know what you do. So, I mean, the next show is Money in the Bank. So anything is possible. Now, I thought Rusev was going to show up last time, but I guess he's still injured or he's not ready to come back yet, is he? Or what's going on with Russo? I'm not sure. I, I thought he was going to come back last night, too, and like interfere in the match and say, you know, I'm going to mess up with this match because I wanted a title match. So, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see on Tuesday. I feel like Tuesday is going to answer a lot of questions. Oh, yeah. Um, and I'm surprised that no Daniel Bryan or no um, Shane O'Mac last night. I guess they do it once in a while on SmackDown instead, huh? Well, I could see Daniel Bryan because he just had a kid. But I was hoping Shane McMahon would come up just because I've never seen Shane McMahon in person, like his entrance or anything. Yeah. But uh, that would have been cool. Yeah, I don't think... No, last time I saw him was Backlash 01, but he was uh, a wrestler instead of a, um, a, a commissioner, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. But um, overall, show, do you like it? or I mean, it could be... A, I think some things could be a little better matches, but overall, it was a good show, you know? Yeah, so here's the thing. I went to NXT the night before, and I mean, a lot of people are saying NXT was the, the WWE show of the year, and I have to agree. Um, like, I felt like that was uh, like an awesome show. It had an awesome match on there. It had an awesome couple of matches. So, like, between if I had to pick between NXT or Backlash, I'm going to pick NXT. But Backlash, I mean, being there live wasn't that bad. I, I mean, like, a lot of people are complaining about it and saying, this is bad, this is bad, that's bad, whatever. But uh, being there live, I felt it was fun. And I had fun, and it was a good show. Yeah, it was a good show, but would you be surprised if Fandango 
and Tyler Breeze won the belt, that'd, that'd be a shock of the uh, of the, yeah. the night, would you think? Or do you think it'd be the second shocking moment as that yeah. did happen? Um, well, I mean, Jinder Mahal won the title, so I think you can't top that. No. Unless, like, like, honest, like, I don't know, there's not much to top Jinder Mahal winning the WWE title. Yeah, all this time... The oh. universal title that they made up a year ago. Yeah, all this time, he was a freaking jobber, in my opinion. They, they let him go, and then before you know it, they bring him back, and then he's champion. I mean, the way you say it, um, the way they booked him as a champion, it was bad, you know, in that in that um, battle royal. I don't like how they do that, but I guess how they had to make new stars, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I know the reason that they're doing it is because they want to have a bigger audience in India, but, I mean, they, they could have done this differently yeah but uh, I don't know what are you gonna do yep but, but um do you think Orton I mean of course Orton probably wants a, a rematch on um on, on Tuesday you know oh yeah I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see the match on Tuesday but my my opinion he should never win the Rumble he should be like uh, Bray Wyatt you know what I'm saying that's the reason uh, um, for you you know yeah but and then, and then nothing off the record Bray Wyatt should never lost the belt at um chamber you know yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things. I mean, I think someone figured it out, and in the last, like, four months, we've had, like, five different champions. Yep. So. It's pathetic, and same thing for Raw. Raw's a total mess, too. Yeah, well, that's another podcast. <laughs> yeah, but um, it seemed like this show went uh, faster than um, the Raw pay-per-views, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's SmackDown. I like SmackDown ten times more than I like Raw. Yeah. Um, you got anything else to say before we end this, uh, Pico? Uh, everyone should go watch NXT TakeOver Chicago, the entire show. It was awesome, especially the main event and the United Kingdom Championship match. Those are the two matches that you should watch if you watch anything from that show. Is the United Kingdom title match and then the main event tag team ladder match. Great matches for a great show. Oh, by the way, did you um, make any video footage on the way to the arena like you usually do in the past? Uh, I did not. I just recorded like two or three entrances, and that was about it. Yeah, me too. Because um, off the record, I'll probably make a video about it. But the traffic from Indiana to Chicago was a pain in the ass, and we got there just in time. So I don't know how was the traffic from you to get to the all Sierra and how was the traffic? It wasn't that bad. No. Nope. Oh, what time you guys got there? Um, about like four. Oh, okay. See, so you don't live too far from all State Arena. Just about an hour. See, I got a AJ Styles oh, um, hat. You know, it's only twenty bucks. And how much was your KO um, um, shirt? Well, I got I got the Payback event shirt, and I got the Kevin Owens America shirt, and that was uh, together about seventy dollars. Jesus, give or take. Okay. So, a lot of money given to WWE this week. Yeah. Week. Now, do you think um? Um, like, um, John Cena did, like, the open challenge for U.S., do you think, um, is gonna do that, or do you think it's gonna be a different thing for KO? Uh, I don't know, that'd be cool if they did it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. No. But, um, I cannot wait until he's, like, the main guy again, you know? This time he's gonna smack down, you know? Uh-huh, I agree. But I can't picture him as a U.S. champion, you know? You know, he, he should be, like, the main guy already, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, anything, anything is possible nowadays, you know. So you have been young all night last night, huh? That's why you lost your voice last night? Oh, yeah. I mean, the, the both days, like, I lost my voice during NXT, like, the first match, so. Um, yeah. Off the record, have you ever got ringside seats, or is that still on your bucket list, Pico? Uh, not for a WWE show, that's on my bucket list, yeah. Okay, I want to do it, so, but it's so money and... I don't know if you see the chairs when you got uh, at Reno. That is an awesome chair. Oh, that chair. I, I looked it up online, and I was like, if this is only like a little bit cheaper, I would probably buy it. Yeah, me too. How much, how much are they asking on eBay right now? Like 200 Jesus. Do you think that's going to go down or no? I don't know. Anything, I, I'm not sure. Oh, by know. the way, did you see a part? I'm not too sure if you've seen it. But, um... Um... Randy Orton give um, JBL the, his um, hat back. Did you see that? Yeah, that was funny how they did that. And people were booing um, uh, Fire JBL. And uh, I guess someone had a sign. Did someone have a sign in, in the arena? Um, well, I mean, there's a story behind that. Um, 
But uh, I agree with the fire JBL chance. I was yelling for it. So. Yeah, I don't think it's ever. I don't think WWE get it done about if it gets fired or not. No, I don't think they will fire him at this point. They should, but. That's what I want to say. Thank you very much, Pico. It has been a blast. I'll let you know when this is all done, okay? All right, cool. You got you got any, you got, you got any shout outs or anything or no? Uh, shout out to Burton Harrison who will be bu- buying me Popeyes in the near future because Jinder Mahal won the title. Oh, so you got to make a little wager, huh, on Twitter? Yes, we did. We oh, wow. And he lost. Damn. So if you want to tweet Burton saying, ha ha ha. You get to buy Popeyes, then go ahead. Oh my gosh. You should never bet, man. Come on. You know what's going to happen uh, yesterday, um, Britain? Yeah, Britain. Duh. Come on, man. I'll make sure he listens to this just for the ending here. Yeah, tell him the fast forward. Probably he's going to uh, chew me out now. Uh, you, you, I, I don't know. It, it's Britain. Anything's possible. Yeah, pretty much. And plus, he's a cowboy fan, so. That's true, but that's a whole other show. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, have a good one. Thank you very much, Pico. This is no your problem. friend here, Team Ray, and my guest here, Pico. is sign off here. All my social media accounts and his social media accounts are down below. I'm out here. Take care. And the champions are here. Goodbye, Pico. See ya. Bye.